Chinese nationals serving as mercenaries have been killed on the front lines in Ukraine, according to a social media group focused on honoring fallen Russian soldiers. Thousands of foreigners have fought for Russia since Moscow's February 2022 invasion of Ukraine, but no solid evidence has emerged that Chinese nationals are among them, according to Newsweek. The Ukrainian armed forces have killed two Chinese mercenaries, according to Russian channels. An X account called PS01 said, Below the tweet, the netizen shared a post from the Telegram channel for a pro-war volunteer group known as Zovnovo Shaktinsk. The post included a statement on the deaths of a pair of soldiers nicknamed Sprite and Kola. The guys from China, good guys, great fighters, died. The poster wrote alongside photos of two young Asian men wearing military gear. Below the brief eulogy, members of the group seemed to be discussing how soon the soldiers had died after joining. A Russian media outlet earlier this year called Zovnovo Shaktinsk, an initiative group of volunteer wives, sisters and relatives of mobilized Novoshaktinsk residents who died in the Special Military Operations Zone. Newsweek recalls that Novoshaktinsk is a mining city in the southwest Russian region of Rostov and sits just a few miles from the Ukrainian border. The special military operation is the Kremlin's term for the war against Ukraine. The write-up detailed the group's installation of billboards around the city featuring Novoshaktinsk residents who had been killed in action. Kiev has also welcomed thousands of foreign mercenaries since launching its International Legion for the territorial defense of Ukraine. These included an army veteran from Taiwan, Seng Shengguang, who in November 2022 became the first person from an East Asian country to be killed in the fighting. New NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte said that China had become a decisive enabler of Russia's war in Ukraine. China cannot continue to fuel the largest conflict in Europe since the Second World War without this impact in its interests and reputation, he said. A NATO spokesperson said a Reuters report that Russia has established a weapons program in China to develop and produce long-range attack drones for use in its war against Ukraine was deeply concerning and that NATO allies are consulting on this matter. The White House National Security Council said it appeared to be an instance of a Chinese company providing lethal assistance to a US-sanctioned Russian firm. Recently, a series of powerful explosions thundered near the only Russian air base in Syria. Presumably, Israel destroyed a batch of weapons that was going to be delivered from Iran to Hezbollah terrorists via the Russian base, writes Bild. Photos and videos taken from the nearby town of Jabla showed powerful explosions coming from the Khmimim base, located five kilometers away. Shortly after the series of explosions, Hezbollah members and Syrian journalists reported that the Israeli Air Force had attacked the Russian base. Israel has been trying to disrupt Hezbollah's arms supply through Syria for years with airstrikes. But the Russian military base has not been the target of these attacks until now. Russia, like Iran and Hezbollah, supports Syrian ruler Bashar al-Assad. The Israeli attack targeted a warehouse inside the Russian Khmimim base. Israel bombed the base an hour after the Iranian Keshem Fars airplane arrived there, wrote Abdullah al Musa, a journalist for the opposition Syrian television network Syria TV. In addition, one of the Turkish journalists told Bild that, according to his sources, the Iranian plane landed at the Russian base on October 2 and took off again, eight hours before the night attacks. The reason for the attacks was the cargo he was transporting under the guise of humanitarian aid for the Lebanese, added the build source. Other reports say the Iranian weapons were destroyed 700 meters from the Russian base where they were stored after being delivered by an Iranian plane. According to these reports, Russia was trying in vain to shoot down incoming Israeli missiles.
On Thursday, aerial footage shows a brush fire beginning to spread across a mountain near Lake Piru, California. The fire was in Ventura County, northwest of Los Angeles. According to local reporting, the fire has burned over 200 acres of land and officials in the area have warned residents to evacuate, as crew tries to combat the flame. California has experienced several wildfires statewide this year, as hot and dry weather conditions continue to persist in the state.